Hello my friends, this is Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I am so glad you're here. So I have been cleaning up my craft room a little bit, tidying up, finishing some, and part of that is finishing some projects. And so this is kind of one of them. I was going to wait till a thrifty Thursday and show you these new eyelets that I got. They're called, these are wide eyelets. These are standard over here, but they're colored, and they're kind of like normal size, so something a little different than I have pretty much, but I was really going for the wide, and I think I thought these were wide, but they turned out, they say standard, so there you go. Pay attention when you're ordering, <laughs> but um, yeah, I have never used these before, and so we're going to try them out together. So this is a little like crafty, craft with me type video. So if you want to do some crafting, just get out your goodies and craft along. But I'm going to show you these real quick. And I want to see how they work too. What they're made of and things like that. So I had seen these, uh, other people using these. And as usual, it seems like nobody says where they get them. You know what I mean? Uh, I, so I had to do a Google search. And what popped up was this website, Craft Direct. I had never ordered anything from there before. And I'm trying to see what they charge me. The, the prices aren't on here, but if you go on um, Craft Direct, they will. You'll be able to see craftdirect.com. You will be able to see these too. I did notice that certain colors, they have more colors. Certain colors were sold out. But I got, um, these are shades of green, these are shades of blue, and these are shades of like pink and reddish, and uh, looks like a dark purpley one there. But anyway, they had more colors, and some of them were sold out, but I'm sure they get them back in, so if there's a color you want, um, you could go on there. And I see down here, I made this order, I don't think I use a coupon or anything, but I see enjoy 10% off your next online order. It expires June 30th, and today is, um, you know, the beginning of May, or the first half of May. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's see how these work. Um, I wanted to let you know how they work, what I thought of them compared to the regular metal eyelets, and where to get them, because that was the big thing. Like, I was like, I looked on Amazon, I looked on scrapbook.com, <laughs> you know, nobody had looked on Timu, nobody had these wide eyelets except for, and they're made by We Are Memory Keepers, so I don't know um, if this is the only place you can get them, Craft Direct, or if there's a We Are Memory Keepers website. I've never shopped on We Are Memory, a, a Me, we Are Memories Keepers um, website, so if there is one, I'm sure you can get them there. But let's open up this, let's see. Uh, let me see what I have here that I might want to put a blue one on, a bluish one on. I have my bird tags out here because I want to finish these up. So I thought, well, let's see if I can put one on, some on here. Uh, I could put one, there's room on here, and so I could put one on there. Uh, there's room on there, room on there, okay, and room on here. Let's use a smaller one though because I don't want to chop up the bird's head there. <laughs> so let's, I'm trying to see which way is up or down. Okay, this is up. So let's open, you know what, let's open the green ones. I think the green ones will go better with this. So here's the green ones. They're, they're the same size, the blue ones and the green ones. Both just called wide eyelets. I want to see what they're made of. Are they plastic? Are they metal? What are, what are they made of? I mean, I'm thinking they're metal, but I don't really know. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not sure how these work. But do they have instructions? They feel plastic, so. Okay, they show the crocodile back here, so I guess you're supposed to put them on with the crocodile. Um, easily attach eyelets with the world's best eyelet setter, the crocodile. That's what it says right there. And that's all it says. So, okay, I can use the crop it out. Of course, it's a We Are Memories Keeper. We Are, me we are Memory Keepers uh, eyelets and crop it out made by them, too. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's put these over here. They're trying to go everywhere on me, I see. It, as you can see, they did not stay in their little compartments. <laughs> so let's just get them back over here. 
Okay, so this looks like the this looks like I would probably want the smaller hole. If the smaller hole is too small, I can always punch the bigger hole. But uh, we'll try the smaller one first, so I don't punch a big hole, and then I need a smaller hole, and then it's too late, right? Let's do this one, and the smaller hole is right here. So I will see. I will put a link for the website of CraftDirect.com in the description box here under this video. Okay, there's a hole. You know, this is going to be a learning experience, I think. Okay, that is too small. So we're going to try the bigger one. <laughs> let's see, there's the bigger one over here. Now, let's, I'm going to put it down a little bit. Not down, but it goes around the smaller one, but just as low as I can get it and still go around that smaller one because I don't want it too high. I have some sewing here. Plus this... Um, you know, this eyelet has a bigger circumference, so I don't want it to go, like, up above my tag. So, okay, there it is. And now we squish. Let me just feel it again. Is this... I wish it said... It just feels plastic, so I don't know how this is going to work. I've got on here, I think, one that will work, the setting that will work in this with this eyelet as far as it will go in and then do it fit on here. So let's see how it squishes. Okay, I felt a little snap there. Is there metal inside? Maybe there's metal. It feels like plastic on the inside, but maybe it's plastic, I mean metal underneath because I can see silver underneath the green. Okay, maybe that's what it is. A metal eyelet with the green covering. Okay, so there's what it looks like. I, I've seen these for so long and kind of always wanted one and I just kind of I guess I put it off because I couldn't I didn't know where they were I could never find them I just and didn't take long enough to look and google it and you know so there's one I think that's cool okay let's do uh, some different shades of green here so we got that that green and I had what I had four shades of green here so here's a light one here's this kind of turquoisey one we got that kind of uh, almost like a Christmas green or a Kelly green and oh it's like a a darker turquoise that's really turquoisey and that's kind of like a light tur turquoise okay that is what we're going with I don't know if we'll use all of those though <clears throat> I just want to see what my options were so this one I think I could get away with using this one right here the light turquoisey one let me see the dark turquoisey yeah that's too dark on there and now I know I need the big hole. So for your information and mine, now we know <laughs> if you order these, you where to get them. And they weren't that bad either. The price is not bad. I think I paid a little bit on shipping too. Uh, but it wasn't bad. So, all right. So there we go. There's another one. And we'll do our little squishy thing here. And no problem as far as the squishing the first one. Yeah, I just usually use two hands and squish this as, as much as I can to look till it looks like it is flat or I feel a little click sometimes like I just did in the last one. But there is another one. Can you see the metal through the green there? Maybe a little silver. So very cool. And so we've got two done. Let's see, where's my other one? Right here. And let's, let's see. My thing is I wanted to finish this up because that's a little project I wanted to finish up. And I wanted to put these, to, oh, here's the other one right here. I want to put these together as little sets of maybe three and then put them in my shop. So we've got like one, two, and let's do a third one. Maybe this one right here on top. And so, again, let's see if we can... See, this one's going to be a problem because this this eyelet is too big for this one. So that's one thing you have to watch out for with using bigger eyelets, right? So let's use some of these smaller ones that I also got from that website, Craft Direct. 
and see how these are. Are they like the, the bigger one, the wide eyelets, or are they like my regular metal eyelets that, I've, that I'm used to using? Let's see. Okay, let's pick out a color. Is this too red? Oh no, I don't think so. I think it looks pretty. Okay, I'm going to use that red one on here. And again, it looks like the big hole. So let's punch up the big hole side here. I have, I have this link. I'll make sure it's in there, but I have this link in my Amazon affiliates that I'm always putting in my uh, description box now. And so if you need one of these, I hadn't looked up the price for, for the crocodile in a long time because I got mine a few years ago. And I mentioned previously on a pre you know, recent video that I got it one day when I saw it marked down on Amazon, like, you know, a flash sale or something. I don't know, but I grabbed it. And if I remember right, it was only $18, and that was a few years ago. So I just put it on my Amazon affiliates list, and I looked at the price, and I could not believe my eyes. So I hope you can get it cheaper or wait for a sale or something or get it on eBay or used. But the one I saw was $35, and that's pretty much double of what I paid, right? So I was lucky to get it at that price because I think it was over $20 at the time. And it went down, like I said, a few recently, um, like 3 to $5 it went down. So there we go. There's another one. It's right on top of the bird's head, but I think that's okay. So then I was going to um, put these together in a little set for my shop. Like I'll have... Uh, you know, a few sets in a listing, but I wanted to go ahead and do that because that was something I had on my mind, and these were sitting there waiting for me to finish them, and that's part of cleaning up my craft room is finishing up my little things like this that I wanted to do. So then I'm just going to take a ribbon and put through here, and then I'll have a few of these. I think I'll put four in a listing. That way you'll get 12, 12, uh, there's a little string there, which is fine, but I'm going to cut it off. And so that way you'll get 12 in a listing, and I don't have that many anyway. This is all I have left. I already, I might have used, I think I used some, and I already sold a set. So I only have maybe two more sets here, if that. But see, I'm just going to kind of put these all together with the ribbon. And I think that'll be a pretty little set, and then whoever, if someone gets them, they can use them together or separate, you know, take them apart and use them separately or individually. So, fun, right? <laughs> yeah, I like these, okay? I think these are uh, a, a win. And so, you know, I've got these now, which is quite a few, so I don't feel like I need any more. But now I know where to go. And now you know where to go if you want them. <laughs> so, it's all good. All right, and now we'll tie a little bow up here. I think I'll just tie a bow. This is some pretty little ribbon that has little the little notches on the side, so it's not just plain. That's kind of why I got this ribbon. I remember getting this ribbon. I think, did I get this one? Where, where is the spool? Yeah, this one. Yeah, I got this one at a thrift store. And I liked it because it has these little notches kind of on the sides, so it's not just plain but it's thin enough to fit through your your tag holes as a topper you know without causing too much bulk there and then you can't you know get it through or tie a bow or whatever you want to do so let's fluff this up a little bit and this will be good to go and i think that's really cute and there we go a little set of bird tags as easy as that these are all sewn around and backed with uh with file folder and like this one's zigzag and these are straight but uh, these are from the bird book I bought at Amazon which I also think I have linked in my description box so let's see what else I have this is vertical let me see there's a big one here this one I don't know what I'm going to do because it his head goes right up to the top <laughs> so I can't put an eyelet right there maybe I'll put one over here in the corner would that be all right? Or maybe I'll put some on the side. I'll put some on the side, one of the sides. Let's see if I have um, some more that I would want to put on the side. 
Maybe this little egg one. Let's see. I'm trying to read the words. This is up. Oh, and some of these little ones are super cute too. So maybe I'll just punch a hole and I won't put an eyelet on him. Uh, let me see what I can do here because I would like this one to be part of the little collection here. So yeah, I really can't. I'm gonna have to. Uh, let me let me let me see what this would look like if I push a hole over here. I think I'll put these two together and then I'll figure out how I'm going to attach that one. Or maybe that will just be a uh, extra, you know, in a listing. Like, okay, you get these four sets plus this one type of thing. That could work, right? I think so. Okay, so now we know the size hole we need. So let's punch some holes here. Maybe we'll get a little, little assembly line going. So we've got that one. These little ones are perfect as the first as the first one. First little tag on top of a grouping. Okay, and then <laughs> this one here, which is a horizontal, but I think I'm going to put it like this. There's more room over here, so let's put it like this. And then when someone takes that off, if they take it take it apart, you can put a separate little ribbon here and tuck it into, say you have a coin envelope or a little pocket, you can tuck it in this way. You can even put a whole tab on there and cover up the hole. So there's options, right? So these two are going together. And then this one, the little egg, which I already punched a hole there. So um, yeah, let's, let's put... Let's see, we open the greens. I kind of want to see if a blue one will go on here. So let's open up the blue ones real quick. I don't know if I'll be able to get these all done during the video. You can see these open up real easy too, which is nice. There, so you don't have to like cut open the package or anything, which is, I think that's nice. If you wanted to actually keep them in here, you could. So yeah, one of these light blue ones, light blue ones almost looks like a little robin's egg color. So I thought that would be cute right there. Isn't that cute? Yes, we have quite a few bird nests we've discovered around our house this spring. And we just noticed that <laughs> this one we have right above our back door. We didn't realize until like this the last couple of days that the little birdies are, I'm going to turn this around, are hatched and big. And they're like, we can see their little beaks and their little heads peeking out over the nest. <laughs> so we're like, oh, they have hatched and they are birds with feathers and everything. So... Yeah, that mom has been busy. So I was thinking there's still eggs up there, but uh, no, they are hatched and they are little birdies up there now. So super, super fun watching the little birdies grow. And so there's one. I like that a lot. That blue one is really pretty. Okay, so this one seems like it might need a smaller one, but let's just check it out with some of uh, I don't, yeah, this is going to like overpower the, yeah, it definitely needs a smaller one. That Those will over, be overpowered by one of those wide eyelets. So let's grab a pink one here. I've never had any of this color. And that's going to be really pretty on there. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> like so pretty? Gorgeous, as I was going to say. I really like the colors there. It's, um... I don't know about, like most of my eyelets I've gotten at thrift stores, and there are some colored ones, but none none this color, none, none this like little mauvey, real rosy pink color. So really, really pretty. I like that so much. Okay, so this one has one. This one needs one. Um, I'm picturing, let's see, we use one of the dark red ones. Let's use one of these. These look like kind of, almost like a, light rust. It might be the light, but I think it looks nice on with the owls. So, yeah, so there's a couple of things I'm listing uh, today in my shop. After I did my video on what's new in my shop, I realized there were some more things I needed to list to clean up my craft room. They were just kind of sitting here waiting for me to do something with them. So, so this one has the blue the darker kind of rust, re, rusty red color and this mauvey color. And then we're going to do, we'll finish this one off and I think we, well, we 
probably have time to do a little bit more. I kind of lost track of my time because I didn't start my timer right away. <laughs> I started it after I started my video here. I don't know if you saw me reach over, but yeah, I looked up and I was like, oh, I didn't start my timer. And I started it probably about five minutes late. So I think I have, I should have five or so, five to eight more minutes. But I just don't want my video to cut off because then, then usually I just do it over. And, you know, I've already got the work done. So <laughs> I don't like to talk about my technical difficulties, though. So I don't really talk about that. Anyway, these are so cute. And I'm glad I got to uh, get these and share these with you. And now, we all know, I'm so excited that I know where these came from now. Okay, let's get this evened up. Yeah, I thought I'd use all the same ribbon. So I can do little sets, like I said. And if you didn't see my video on Saturday, last Saturday, take a peek at that because I talk about a little bonus that you get with an order until limited supplies until it's gone there's only five <laughs> five things five bonus things for the moment until I find something else but uh, anyway I've let you know about this one so right now I have five available two of one was it two and one of one thing of one similar thing and three of another thing and when those are gone I'll have to find something else but anyway so if you did order a set of these, I'll try. I will have these in my shop when when you. Uh, I'll make that promise to you. These will not be going into my shop when you see this video. These will be in my shop when you see this video. <laughs> so that way I'll further clean up my craft room, right? And have these already listed. Okay, I love that. So cute, such a cute little set. Okay, so let's see what we've got left here. Maybe we can at least get organized. We've got three of this, two of this size. This one's a little smaller, so we can make this one like a topper. This one, a topper. And we've got our bonus one here, which is going to be a bonus journaling card with this. And then uh, these two. So, let's see, that's, I said I wanted to, I wanted to do a set of four, but I, like I said, I didn't know if I had enough. So this will be three. And if I put these together, I could put these together in some way. And that'll be four. And then here's another little set, which I could... I'll probably keep these, because I really didn't keep any of these. So I would like to keep a couple <laughs> for myself. They're so cute. So I'll keep those for myself. And so that'll be the set. Wow, I just had enough to make one set. Okay. So let's get this assembly line going like, that I mentioned that I never got going. So I'll make sure they're upright and punch some holes with the big hole punch see now if you get this and you'll know already use the big hole just remember my video use the big hole punch on your or a regular hole punch this hole is pretty much the same as a regular hole punch so you don't have to of course have this to punch holes and maybe you have another type of eyelet setter you know you don't have to have this I wouldn't pay $35 for it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I might. I don't know. I can't really say that for sure because if you want one, you want one and then you get it, right? Do what you have to do to get it. Oh, I'm going to show you my regular hole punch compared to just one of these I'm talking about. That hole is pretty much uh, the same as the big hole on here. So I just wanted to show you what I was talking about. <clears throat> so anyway... Everything's upright. We've got one more little uh, hole to punch in this one. And then three holes to punch here. Let's see. Let me make sure how I want this. I think I want this one on the bottom because it's wider. Even though it's not longer, it's wider. And I think it looks better on the bottom. Now I'm going to have to be careful here because I've got a bird there and I don't want to punch his head too much. And I'm going to have to use a small eyelid on there, too, so I don't put it over his head. And this one I'm going to do over here. I'm just punching the hole in the middle under my thread. Okay. Whoops. Hold the phone. There we go. <laughs> wasn't quite centered there. And so there we go. Now three, six eyelets to set. Let's 
So you can make uh, these tags. Of course you can make tags from anything. You don't have to have this bird book that I had. I just got it because um, I was getting <clears throat> Maria one for her birthday. I was getting her a butterfly because she's a butterfly person. So I got her the butterflies and I got me the birds. And I wanted to try these. And I think they're, they're, it was a lot of fun, but I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy any of the books again because it was just kind of like... Uh, to me, it was just a lot of fun, too much uh, cutting out of, and it reminded me, I don't know, it was just, it's not, it's not fussy cutting, you're just cutting out rectangles, but I just didn't, you know, I don't know, I'd rather cut out book pages or something, I guess. It's just a, um, I don't know, kind of a, I guess a hang up that I have, I'd rather be cutting out book pages than <laughs> cutting up a book like that, I mean a book that I bought, you know, type of thing. Okay, so. This is where we need a smaller one, and this, uh, I'm going to put the, let's see, I think this bird, this is the one where you put a bright red one before, let me get a couple of these out of here so I can make up my mind. I think we put this bright red one on there before, but I think I want this one on here, maybe we put this one on there. See, it's almost the same color, it's a darker version of the color that's on this bird, it seems like. So, let's smash this one. So I hope you're crafting along with me or just hanging out with doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> I, uh, I usually, I always have, the, I watch TV at night with my husband and when else do I watch TV? Once in a while, oh, when I'm going to sleep at night, I'll watch TV. I just like to have the TV on, on a short kind of like little TV show so that I can, um, I think I can put a big one on here. So that can kind of like put me to sleep, but uh, let's see what I want on here. I don't think that looks right. Let me try a green one. Where are my green ones? Yeah, so that's the only times I two times I kind of watch TV is with my husband. We watch a show at night, and then when I'm going to sleep, I think I want one of these colored ones on here. I think it's going to look better. Let's see. Uh, the same color I just used. It's just going to look better on this little set right here. And then the rest of the time, it's all YouTube. So, <laughs> so yeah. And I watch all kind of, I mean, I watch mostly the crafty, journaling, paper crafting videos, but I've been watching, and I've been decluttering, so I kind of wanted to see what people were saying about decluttering and things, so... I've been watching some decluttering videos, which has been really interesting. Uh, so decluttering, paper crafting, junk journaling. What else? Um, Timu. Well, Timu. Some crafty Timu hauls. Uh, I, I uh, well, whether Timu hauls and trying to think of what else dollar tree hauls as long as it has to do with paper crafting i don't like like too many um dollar tree diys because i've you know i've kind of i don't really get i don't get into that as far as you know i'm decluttering so i'm not going to buy a bunch of stuff to <laughs> make a bunch of stuff you know what i mean for my house i kind of have the basics that i need now as i'm decluttering i'm figuring out like Wow, I don't even need any of this stuff, <laughs> so it's going away, and it's really nice, actually. I'm, I'm enjoying it. This one needs a green one, and a darker green one. I think we did one of these already and used a darker green one. Yeah, we did do one, do one of these, because I remember that little, this little nest. I think that's a nest right there, a little bird nest, so that looks great on there. But decluttering, paper crafting... Dollar Tree, Timu Halls, and I'm sure there's something else. I can't think of it right now, though. Uh, okay, so that one can go... These can go either way. I think I'm going to put this one on the bottom. And then this one needs one of the dark orangey ones, because that bird right there has a very bright color on him. Him, I think that would be best as far as the color for this tag okay 
And now all we need is a ribbon in each one. And so let's get a little bit of ribbon here. And now that I can put this little project away after I list it, put it in my for sale section of uh, the other room in my house. <laughs> and I'll have this cleaned up and then I have another project. So stay tuned for that. Um, something else I want to, I kind of was looking through my ephemera and, you know, making some things recently with you all, I'm sure. And I pulled out some fussy cuts from magazines. There's some magazines in there. There's some, what else is in there? Some uh, printable printables and some wallpaper fussy cuts. All in three different envelopes because there's three different categories. There's like, I think there's a miscellaneous, a botanical, and something else. So all three of those, I have in three different zipper pouches. All of those, I'm kind of like remembering, uh, remembering Wishes to Weeds, her videos where she was doing, uh, was it last year, you, Use It or Lose It? <laughs> so that's my attitude toward these three, three pouches. Use it or lose it. Like, I was just going to throw them away. And then I looked through, through them, and I was like, oh, there's some good stuff in here. <laughs> so I got them out. I'm going to use them or whatever I don't use. Like, because they've been sitting there. I mean, I cut those out uh, at least two years ago, maybe three. And I haven't used them. Like, when am I going to use them? I was like, I, I've, you know, you watch, if you watch my channel, I've got... <sighs> You know, if you watch my Thrifty Thursdays, you know, you know, <laughs> I've brought lots of ephemera from Michaels and Amazon and Tim Holtz and uh, all that kind of stuff. So, Timu. <laughs> so, so, oh, I watch Tim, Tim Holtz videos usually when he does his videos. Most of them, not all of them, because some of them are stuff I don't really do. So if I don't do it, I don't watch it. But he's got, his videos are usually pretty good, even though they're really long. They're, they're really good. But anyway, so we'll see how I do with these three pouches. I hope I don't decide to keep them because <laughs> I don't want them in my stash anymore. Sitting there not doing anything, you know what I mean? Like, but at the same time, I guess I'll have to decide if I like them at the time I'm using them, right? So that's going to be a video probably later this week or next week whenever I get to it and have time to publish it, you know, get it on here. So that, that I'm going to retie that bow, but uh, is that it? Okay, let's look at what we did. I have a little idea for some packaging, too, that I want. I'm really dying to get to that one. And this one I could use. Uh, it could be any packaging. So, uh, yeah, I have an idea that where if you're saving packaging like that, or any packaging that even looks pretty, I have an idea that I really want to do, so that's another video that you can look forward to. And here's what we did. I'm not about to sneeze. Whew. But this little set, this whole set that we did today, including this one, will be in my shop when you see this video. So if you would like it, just jump over there and get it because it's the only one. So thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. You know, see you in my next video. Have a great night, great day. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks a lot. See you later.